Continuing his comprehensive tour of Edo state government projects, Mega Comrade Clement Iranomigo Edegbe visited the Ministry of Agriculture and Food Security. He was warmly received by the Commissioner for Agriculture, Stephen Ehikoya. My brother, I shall be teacher. Very well. Nice meeting you. Player for mine. Yeah. Mega Comrade Thank you so much. Wow. The visit underscores the significant strides made by the state government in the agricultural sector. The commissioner highlighted the administration's efforts to attract and facilitate investment in agriculture, noting that the government initially allocated over 65,000 hectares for farming, which has now been expanded by an additional 45,000 hectares. This expansion has not only increased agricultural productivity, but also created numerous job opportunities for residents. Agriculture is the catalyst for industrial revolution. That will help drive critical enterprise crop that will have comparative advantage. By the grace of God, I can tell you for free, at the first 65,000 hectares of oil farm for investors, because first you have to create the enabling environment for the investors to come in. By then, the government saw what we had on ground. There was need to increase it to a, by another 40,000. That makes it 105,000 hectares being cultivated in a do state at the same time. You see, what people will not understand is. How does this translate to wet and job creation? You see, for the complete value chain for oil palm, from spotted seedling to harvesting and processing, milling and refining, you require at least 40 persons in that value chain for one hectare. So if you put that together for 100,000 hectares, you can imagine how much jobs this estate will create in no distance time. Governor Godwin Obaseki Steno has been marked by a revolution in the agricultural sector, fostering an environment conducive for investment and growth. According to the Commissioner, the Ministry of Agriculture has played a crucial role in this transformation, deploying extension service workers across all 18 local government areas to assist local farmers. These workers provide valuable first-hand knowledge and support, ensuring that farmers can fully benefit from the Ministry's resources. We have extension service workers across the 18 local government. We are extension service aggregate a number of farmers in a certain location and begin to teach them what they need to know with the enterprise crop they are engaging. With the feed report, we are able to say, okay, you have planted so much maize, but your return on investment was very low. Maybe because of the drought, because there are times you just have a dry spell. That dry spell reduces the amount of yield the, the, in the corn. We now say, okay, what do we now do to protect our farmers? Because they farm and this one, and it's okay, let's begin to look for the right varieties that can, those are their challenges. For instance, the cassava. The old stock they've always had was maybe the one that can give them between 8 and 12 ton per hectare. Today, if you look at the thousands of bundles we distributed to farmers for free this year, during the flag off of the farming season, they are team TME419. They have capacity to, you know, of between 35 to 45 metric ton per hectare, as against the traditional um, um, 8 to 12 ton per hectare. So by seeing that by that action, for the same space of land, you are increasing the weight of our people because they now farm the same space and get almost three times of what they used to get. That is how our people are benefiting from, from, from this ministry. The AgriCorp is a center dedicated to all forms of agriculture, which stands as a testament to the state's commitment to advancing agricultural practices. The hub serves as a focal point for innovation and education, equipping local farmers with the tools and information they need to thrive. 
Following discussions, Mega Comrade Iranomigo was given a brief tour of the offices within the Agric Hub, further emphasizing the state's dedication to agricultural development and food security. What we are introducing when we brought in Amo, it was deliberate because we have a traditional bed, what you call, uh, what you call chicken, traditional ones. We have the, um, the, the hybrid, what they call the uh, boilers and all this stuff. So see, we notice Amo have a particular species that is a hybrid between a native chicken and the boilers. And we have done adaptive trials and they are working well. So we're not telling people, you rush, every, you know, you, are look, you say you don't have things you are doing. Why don't you take 10, 20, 30, 40 of these birds, allow them to roam. They grow bigger than a native uh, chicken. Do you understand? But, you know, they are, they are as rugged as a native chicken. So you will not have to attend to those... Uh, uh, clinical issues with those boilers as you are. So you now have hybrid. So people cannot raise, you know, heavy and big, big meat uh, uh, hybrid and chicken in their houses, at their backyard. So these are deliberate things to say, okay, create wet for our people. And the more we are pushing, we have set up small, small cells of this around using the ammo and Haifa uh, platform. That before you know it, they will not have a ready market. The visit highlights the ongoing efforts of the Edo state government to boost the agricultural sector, creating sustainable growth and employment opportunities for its citizens. Irene Ejoba, PFM TV News.